Oh man, all right. I don't even know if I know how to vlog anymore. All right, guys, let's get in bed. Let's pretend like we just woke up. Come on, Chip. Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a while, so I figured today we would vlog the day and catch up a little bit. As many of you guys know, I'm currently applying for residency, so let's take a look at how my days have been looking like lately. Hi, Chip Chip. Hi, Bubbles. All right, so my mornings typically start off with me coming outside like I am right now. Even though the dogs have a doggy door, I like to kind of just walk them outside, kind of walk around the backyard with them. They go in do their business, sniff around a bit. It also kind of lets me get some sun first thing in the morning and helps me wake up a little bit. All right, so we're back inside. It's about 9 a.m., which is pretty typical for when I've been waking up lately. I'm gonna start my day off with a little bit of a light workout. I have been trying to increase my workout frequency to twice a day with a light, you know, kind of mobility, cardio, plyo, calisthenic workout in the morning, and then going to the gym later in the day and doing weightlifting. Next month, I'm doing a 15 kilometer Tough Mudder, so I've just been really trying to increase how much time I spend every day exercising. And in general, it's felt really good to be getting into much better shape during my fourth year. I definitely did not prioritize exercise as much as I should have throughout all of medical school, and it started to show. Chip is always ready to play first thing in the morning. All right, so I just got done with my run, which was an absolutely terrible idea because it is so hot outside. But now the plan is to hit a quick shower and then we'll go make some breakfast. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Raheem. Today we're eating breakfast of champions. Got a homemade McDonald's, McGriddle, McSandwich looking thing. It is absolutely fire. And instead of using all the cheap ingredients that you see at McDonald's, it's nothing but fresh, farm to table, good quality food. I'd be wondering, where do we get fresh food like that? Well, I'll tell you, Sam's Club. That's the partner of today's video. And then we've also got Synthesix. Can't go wrong with the OG Synthesix. Brought to you by whoever makes Synthesix. Our second sponsor of today's video. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. I am out of here. Like squatting down, like, okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> well, I was gonna tell you guys about my breakfast that I made, which I pretty much make every single day, but my brother just uh, summed it up. So yeah, just got a little breakfast sandwich going on, as well as a protein shake. I typically try to keep my eating between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. However, since I started having workout sessions in the morning, I get hungry much earlier, so it's been hard to wait all the way until noon to eat. So today we're eating a little bit early. All right, so I'm all done eating. I am in my room at my desk. I have a class in about two hours, so currently I'm not on any sort of clinical rotation. I'm actually doing a community service public health rotation, which is essentially uh, lecture based and then we also have to do some community service work throughout the month I figured it would give me the most amount of time to be at home and be able to have a routine as you guys are seeing today I can work on my application regularly consistently and make sure that it is ready to go because it is actually due next week So where I'm at with it is I have all my letters of recommendation pretty much all my research is in we actually just got a paper published this morning so I have to go and make sure that I update my application. And there's another paper that might get published by next week, but keep our fingers crossed for that. Besides that, I've been putting a lot of time into the experiences section, which is just so difficult. I feel like every day I try to pick at it a little bit, and then I just get frustrated about writing about myself and all that stuff. So I just kind of, I don't know, give up or kind of 
prolong it, but I think I'm pretty close to finishing my experiences and I have a meeting with the Dean of Student Affairs tomorrow to go over it. So I wanna make sure that it's all polished up and then hopefully he tells me that it looks good and looks like other people who successfully match into residency and I will be happy. Like I said, I have lecture for my community service class in about two hours. I have some readings I also have to do for that. So what I'm gonna do is do some of those readings right now, hopefully get some time to pick up my application if not, I'll probably work on my application a bit during the class since it's on Zoom. The instructor of this class definitely watches my YouTube videos, so Jennifer, sorry. I'm definitely gonna be participating and paying attention, but I'm also gonna have my ERS pulled up on the side. I'm sure you understand. If I can't get a lot done on my application between now and the end of class, it's honestly not a big deal. I can work on it a little bit after class before going to the gym tonight. This is actually wild. The fact that ERS goes out next week, this is what I've been working towards for four years, and next week is the date that I press submit, which is just, I don't know, it's just absolutely wild to me. All right, enough talking, let's cue the work montage. All right guys, so I have been spending the last little bit doing some of the readings for my class. Didn't get a whole lot of time to work on my application, but that's okay, I still have the entire rest of the afternoon. Right now I have about 25 minutes until class starts, so I'm actually gonna drive over to this pho place to pick up some Vietnamese iced coffee that I have just been absolutely craving so much lately. It just hits the spot, wakes me up so much. So I'm gonna go drive over there. Hopefully, hopefully I get back in time. I, I'm not gonna lie, I might run a little bit late for class, but for coffee, it's totally worth it. All right guys, mission accomplished. We got the iced coffee, and now I need to rush home and get to class. All right guys, so I just got done with class. We had a lot of great discussions about the current, you know, US health system and insurance and all that kind of stuff, which is just topics I feel like I can never get down, but it's very important as, you know, future physicians. On most other days where I don't have class, all this time you guys are seeing me like, you know, having to do some pre-readings, work on class stuff, I would have been putting towards ERAS, but today I just happen to have class, which is totally fine. So I think I'm gonna finish finalizing my experiences on my ERAS application before meeting with my dean tomorrow. And then I have an anesthesia resident who's gonna look at my application on Friday and give me some advice and everything. So that's gonna help a lot. And once that's done, I might have a couple other people look at it, but overall I'm pretty close to being ready to apply. Before I get started, I might chill in bed a little bit with the pups because as you can see, they are laying here and look very cozy and now I kind of want to lay here a little bit as well, but then I promise I'll get some application stuff done. Alrighty, so I am home from the gym now, had a quick dinner, and now I am in my office slash gaming room, which is honestly my favorite place in the entire house. I pretty much spend every single night here. You know, playing games usually is how I relax at the end of the day. Tonight I'll definitely get some games in on Overwatch and probably play some Pokemon as well, but I do have to prepare a little bit because I have to give a presentation to some high schoolers on pelvic anatomy and injuries tomorrow morning. And then, like I said, I have a meeting with my dean to discuss my application, which, you know, because I had class and stuff today, I didn't work as much on, but it's pretty much done, honestly. So I really want my dean to just look at it tomorrow and tell me that it looks good and that I should be confident submitting it, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Fourth year is honestly just so nice because like you guys saw, I have so much more freedom to schedule my days, especially if you're not on clinical rotations like me right now where I'm mostly doing like community service stuff. I can just focus on scheduling my day the way I want to with my applications and you know, exercising, eating, whatever I need to do in the day. It's such a different type of lifestyle from the first few years of medical school. Anyway, residency application goes out next week, so I will be updating you guys on how that goes. And as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it so much more than you guys could ever know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.